All right, we're gonna go to their hiding spot. All right, we're going to observe the deal between Sophie and the thugs. Right, we'll see what happens. Apparently they took away the bazaar's water supply. So everybody there might die. Way. It's night time, so we have to be careful. Okay, I'm just gonna run across and climb up there. I jump down safely somewhere. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> All you guys here. And there's a chase. Awesome. That's because there's a howler. That's just great. Chasing me. All right, chase ended. Awesome. Okay, I didn't see that howler there, so he alerted everybody to my presence. Okay, we're gonna go to the meeting place. I see bandits. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden! Kill them all! Okay. Let's kill the thugs. Where are they? Are those... Okay, so they're just down here. Which weapon will be the best? Yeah, this one. Let's do this. <coughs> There's the UV, UV lights over there, so. Where you at? Oh, shit, where's my weapon? Gotcha, you piece of shit. Surprise, asshole. Take some of this. Survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Alright, so we gotta find Susie now, but I'm gonna search these guys. Let's 
check out the new weapon. Alright, we're gonna use this for now. But we need to find Susie. Where is Susie? Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. What the? Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. <sighs> Alright, so I gotta search everybody with this guy here? <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, great. Alright, I didn't expect... Yeah, I didn't expect um, those zombies to show up as well. Let's change our weapon. Alright, so let's search these bodies, I guess. Where is he? Kill them and then search them, I guess. Well, this is going to be crazy. I was under the impression that I'll be. What the blood? I was under the impression I'd be um, searching for the dead bodies already. Can. Yeah. All right, come on, come at me. Weapons already broken. Whoa, that was nasty. All right, is there one more? How many more do we search? Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. 
Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Sounds good to me. Let's go raid them. Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ador will let us into the center. Alright, well that sucks because that was a good weapon. this place, get everything I can. Wait, did I not search that bag? Let's keep going. Looks like we're going up on the tower. Okay, what's the easiest way to get up there? Probably jump on that. new windmill it's always good to have more safe spots more places to run with UV lights so we got the windmill can I just jump down somewhere we need to go find Sophie she's somewhere over here somewhere close way too close Where, 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 where do I drop? 
That'll do. Alright. There she is. Sophie. Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. follow the voice. We're actually in a dream right now, but I wonder if we can die in the dream. Mia? Hey, There's something... What's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Something freaky about being in a dream. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. So Herman would probably would have helped. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, He's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. So what's next? Uh, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. To your help. Birdie died because of you, man. 
And you're drinking to his health? Come on. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph, Susie, Ben Birdie, to our crew. We gotta... I can go and beat them all. Can I jump down? Oh, snap! Did they see me? I'm just gonna go and get you also. <coughs> can I make that jump? I probably can't. Yeah, I'm pissed off because you guys were throwing stuff at me, right? So we can upgrade some blueprints. When we get to the class, class master. Let's see what we got here. Alright. A lot of screams. Now let's take the table leg and the flower. It this time. Last time I was doing this, my stamina was so low I kept falling. Goddamn coyotes. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? 
I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. So what, I'm like a double agent now? Let's go to the party. Like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look must, for her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. Why is she always gone? Just this one thing. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said that. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo, uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo, why, what do you, why would you? Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? That's not very interesting. I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now, is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too, and I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. Yeah, we're looking for a sister as well. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? 
No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. So his friend was in the same experiment as Mia, I guess. Whatever happens to me, if you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. I can see why you're single. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Join Sophie. Let's do the raid. Whoa, almost did a stupid thing there. Oh, 
I need to get down. We'll see who gets who. Uh, let me see if I should carve some more knives. That's where those guys are. Let's see what we want to do. Apparently, the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. <sighs> well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Alright, so we gotta liberate the camp. Let's see. You gotta kill the leader, who is right over there. You gotta kill him and his lieutenants. So, let's see if I can get to him. Okay, that's where I gotta get first. Let's see if I can do it quietly. very quiet. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. We got your ass now. Well, that didn't go stealthy. So much for stealth. Sorry about that. very stealthy. Let's see if we can do better this time.
So we just got some throwing knives and that's about it. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh man, I break a lot of lockpicks trying to do this. Darn it. Get out of here. Better not see your fucking face again. This blows. So there's a closed airdrop. That's probably the best way to get in there. We got a rope going from... We got a rope going from the tower. Kill the gang leader. Who do I sound like? We gotta kill the lieutenant and the leader. We gotta kill that guy. The fuck is that? Am I seeing things? Not tracking. We got you now. What? What the? F that did not go as planned. Just sounded the alarm. I've got you now, Lieutenant, where are you? What the hell? Can you? I'm gonna freaking kill all of you. He's got to be. Damn it. Well, my 
stealth didn't really work. Where's the leader now? right over here so this might be tough I'm gonna double down on the health Establish the safe zone. I'm gonna search this place. There's probably a lot of good stuff here. Uh, let's establish the safe zone first. Okay, no, I don't wanna lose the loot. Let's loot this place first. goodies oh that's a new weapon we got a throwing spear good some wine lots of wine <laughs> yeah, it's too late now I already killed everybody all oh, this this I want This is on my new axe. Some aspirin. good stuff all right let's claim this as a safe zone
Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, Bravo, I'd Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army, stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! I'm glad you showed up. I admire Sophie. She has ten times the courage of Carl. Oh, thanks. If you ever need something... Okay, let's go to the hideout. I wonder if the backup are the peacekeepers. I mean, they didn't seem to want us to attack. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck you. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. No, I gotta do this. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Inhibitor container nearby. Where? 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 Come on, tell me. Show me where. Scraps. Shit. I'm too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. Sort of look like peacekeepers. A little bit. Okay, we'll go upstairs. Can I loot anything from here? Some coins. A machete. I need the bottle. See the machete.
Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in! Okay, there's a container close by too. We gotta get in there somehow. to get in there. Mm. Yeah, let's go back in. Go back upstairs. Well, but I have a feeling that's the way to go. Okay, let me just craft some medicine really quick. Okay, so I guess I gotta go across here. I should have done that the first time. Downstairs, I guess. Okay, let's see what we can boost. Stamina, so I did that last time, let's do health.
a lot of stuff here. But soapy summer down. Down lower, so we're gonna go. Sounds like there's a radio here somewhere. There's the radio right here. So that was the peacekeepers. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Help Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Hey, Barney! Barney, wait! I really don't like Barney. <laughs> Fuck you, figures. Oh, this is gonna <laughs> suck. <laughs> I'm looking for Sophie! <laughs> Sophie! <laughs> Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman! Get out of my way!
All right. How do I get up there? Okay, I see. I was so happy to defeat Herman, and then my game crashed. Where do we go now? Barney, kid. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. Means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the Peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Ator. Let's keep in touch. Barney? Come out! Come on, man! I will find you! Let's kill Barney. He's got to be here, cuz... Aiden, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So... You'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Okay, this is actually a tough one. Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Well, let's tell her the truth. Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water, and I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? I guess we're gonna have two options if we help, right? Let's do it. Fine. What's the plan? Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. 
How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. So, Herman is not dead, after all. We just beat him up. Alright, let's get to the water tower. <laughs> 